everyone. This is my talk on HSS matrices JL. Uh, this is a Julia library for hierarchically semi-separable matrices. So what are these matrices? Um, these matrices are typically dense matrices that can be uh, organized in this hierarchical fashion, uh, where blue blocks represent low rank approximations and red blocks represent dense representations. So why do we do all this? Um, well, uh, matrices such as these can or allow for arithmetic and linear complexity, uh, much like uh, low rank approximations. Uh, the difference is that with these matrices, I can actually represent a larger class of matrices. So uh, who is this library for? Uh, it's mainly aimed at researchers and people developing algorithms. Uh, with this library, you can compress matrices efficiently into HSS formats, so you can see whether uh, they're compressible. Uh, there are efficient implementations of all the important uh, algorithms for arithmetic, and there's tools for visualization. So these problems, uh, they often arise in uh, uh, PDEs uh, and uh, discretizations of, uh, of physical problems, as you can see here on the left. Um, and so one big field where these matrices have been uh, used for are actually sparse direct solvers, as you can see here. Um, but they have also been uh, used for Gaussian processes, for instance. So let me take you on a quick tour uh, of uh, HSS matrices JL. So here I have prepared a, um, a matrix K, uh, which is just this uh, kernel function evaluated uh, on a grid, uh, as you can see here. And so if I didn't know that this matrix is, uh, can be represented in HSS format, what I could do is I could just uh, fire up HSS matrices JL and then I just call HSS of K. Uh, and as you can see, this will give me an HSS matrix. And so I want to know whether uh, this HSS matrix was a good approximation. Well, as you can see, using uh, normal Julia syntax, we can just evaluate the error here and we get five to the 10 to the minus nine. Uh, so this is a good approximation. And equally, I want to know whether uh, the ranks are small and uh, what, what this matrix looks like. So I can call plot ranks of HSSK, and this gives me this nice, uh, uh, nice illustration of the structure. And we can see that the uh, ranks are very small compared to the blocks, which means that um, this is an efficient uh, representation. So here I've uh, just computed some random right-hand sides and uh, we solve a linear system using the dense matrix. And then we do the same with the HSS matrix and we can see that uh, this is approximately 10 times faster. And so there's uh, other arithmetic operations. Uh, if you want to know more, then I invite you to check out the GitHub. There's an extensive um, example file and otherwise I'm happy to answer your questions now.